Hey everyone, it's Jen. I hope you're doing well. This video is a quick review and on foot of the Adidas Gazelle Indoor, which is a slight variation of the Adidas Gazelle. Adidas retroed this style because of the Gucci collab that recently dropped. The price is crazy on those, but that green colorway is nice. This blue colorway is one of three that released in a pack and retailed for a whopping $150. I bought these during Adidas' 30% off sale, which I recommend you do if you're looking to buy a pair. Gazelles also always go on sale, either on Adidas' site or at retailers, so research and patience are key. This style is pretty straightforward and simple, which is why I like the Gazelle so much. It's easy to style, and I usually throw them on when I'm running errands, so they get a ton of wear. The blue suede really pops over the gum sole. The suede is on the hairier side, but is nice and soft. The tongue is a thin felt material that's used on the regular Gazelle and Samba, and the ankle is lined with soft leather. A few key differences between the Gazelle Indoor and regular Gazelle is the toe box overlay. There's more of a T design on the Indoor. They also have different soles. The insole has a thin piece of leather on top of the foam. Usually the top layer is a super thin textile, but they added a little something extra on the indoor insole. This pair and the other two in the indoor pack come with an extra set of white laces, which I think look better and give the upper a nice contrast. I did also get the black pair on sale, and I noticed the upper is more of a nubuck compared to the hairy suede on the blue pair, so a minor detail if you're trying to figure out which one you want to buy. Sizing wise, these fit like a typical gazelle. I have narrow feet, went a half size down in my men's size, and they fit perfect. For reference, I go true to size in the Jordan 1, 3, 4, and most Air Max styles. That wraps up the video. Let me know your thoughts on this retro Adidas style, and thanks for watching.